So ladies and gentlemen, you have to know how to graph inequalities. All right? And to graph inequalities, the first thing I'm going to do is I'll go back to the inequality sign. But for right now, I just want to show you how to graph an equation. I don't remember. Um, it's number eight. So to look at a problem like this, to look at a problem like this, we need to put it either into two forms. There's either standard form or there's y equals mx plus b form. This can most easily be put in standard form, which is ax plus by equals c. Right? That's standard form. So to put this in that form, I need to add the 6 to the other side. So I get 9x plus 3y equals 6. Follow me? OK. Now, when you have a problem that's already in standard form, one way to do it, the easiest way sometimes, is just to find the x and y intercepts and plot them. So you guys need to remember this method. You can write x intercept is when y equals 0. y intercept is when x equals 0. It's the same thing over and over and over that we work on. So here, when the x, so x intercept is when y equals 0. So you put 0 in for y. So I write 9 times x plus 3 times 0 equals 6. The y intercept is when x equals 0. So I write 9 times 0 plus 3y equals 6. Yes? Right, because we graphing an equation and a line are very similar. The process is very similar. The only difference of the inequality is going to be the shading and if it's dotted or solid, right? However, the slope and the y-intercepts are exactly the same. So I'm going to graph it like it's an equation because I want to find the, the slope and the x and y-intercepts. The x and y-intercepts are going to be the same if it's an inequality or an equation. The only thing different with inequalities are the shading and the dashed or solid line. So I'm going to first find the intercepts to graph it. Then I'm going to go back to the inequality. Okay? You, I'm just doing this to make it easier. But you could, if you wanted to keep the less than or equal to, that's fine as well. I mean, it's, it's not going to change what you're doing. So here, now I have 9x equals 6 divide by 9. x equals 2 thirds. Here, I get 3y equals 6 divide by 3. y equals 2. So ladies and gentlemen, what happens when x equals 2 thirds and y equals 0? You now have a coordinate point, which we call the x-intercept. When you have a coordinate point when 0, x equals 0, and y equals 2, you now have a coordinate point when for the y-intercept. So what we do is we plot these two points. All right? 0, 2 is right up here, 1, 2. 2 thirds 1 is going to be 2 thirds of the way to 1. So it's going to be about right there. All right. Now, here's where I want to go back and put in my inequality sign so I can remember how I'm going to graph the line. So those are my two x and y intercepts. When graphing it this method, that's all you need. You just need to know the x and y intercepts because every line only needs to get, to create a line, all you need is two points, right? So now I can connect these two points to create my line. However, is my line going to be shaded, or is it going to be dashed? Well, you could use a test point on the line, or you can look at the inequality symbol. And since it is greater or less than or equal to, it's going to be a solid line. Cool? OK. Everybody follow me? Got with this? Now the next thing we need to do is determine shading, right? This is an inequality, not an equation. So we need to determine uh, shading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a test point. And the best test point ever to pick, as long as the line doesn't go through, it is? Zero. Zero, zero. So what we do is we say test 0, comma 0. And what you do is you put a 0 in for x. So now for the x-intercept, you put a 0 for the y. For the y-intercept, you put a 0 for the x. To test it, we're going to put a 0 for both of them. So you do 9 times 0 plus 3 times 0 um, is less than or equal to a positive 6. So what you get is 0 less than or equal to 6. Is that true or false? Is 0 less than or equal to 6? True. true, right? 
So since 0, 0 is true, that means every single point to the left or below this line is also going to be true. So what we do is we shade to the side where it's true. And voila, you have your point. OK? That's it. That's all I guess I'd do. Not that bad, right? Maybe. Hopefully.